Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Fanbyte First Bite. This is Steven Strum, Senior Managing Editor of Fanbyte.com. And I can see on screen who you all are, but for the people who don't know who Yowie Vampire is, who we got here? <laughs> Batter up, Scuzz Bucket. Uh... <laughs> Is that what he I, says? Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's what Elias Cotillas, Canadian heartthrob of the 1990s, says. Uh, he played Casey Jones in the movie. I'm Mary Kay. Nice. And uh, this character name down here does say Nicholas Grayson. Who could that be on the call? I'm Splinter. <laughs> the the rat. Sp- we got Splinter He's a to radical rat. with us. <laughs> yeah. Now I see like you're okay. So why? How come Splinter has such low range and speed, but good power, but then like has lower total stats than Casey Jones? Well, we'll get into that. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. we'll, well, we'll who's Floppy it. Adult? Maybe Floppy Adult can tell us. That's me. Hi, I'm April O'Neil. I I used to be just a news lady, and now I know kung fu, which is great. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that made sense. <laughs> We have uh, playing the canonically best turtle of the group. We've got wow. that's right. That's right. This is uh, it's me, Paul, the uh, resident New Yorker here to make sure uh, everything is accurate in well, this game. Well, now at least three of the people on this call have lived in New York before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, there are huge rats in New York, so I think that's it's. True. I think this is already pretty uh, accurate. Uh, okay. I've never seen a rat before. Oh, okay. I've seen one Come rat. To New York. In my life. Well, do you want to see some rats? Let's uh, let's get going. <sighs> let's go in. This, this is what is yeah, this called? Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Shredder's Revenge. Shredder's Revenge. By the makers of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game. And That's other correct. things. And, Way uh, forward? Is that what yeah, they're called? Uh, nope. It's a uh, tribute. Tribute. Yeah. And it's okay. published by uh, the Streets of Rage people, uh, .mu. Okay. So this isn't the greatest game in the world. This is just a tribute. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> wow. Okay. Wow. Well, I mean, wow. no, I mean, to be fair, this is a tribute to the Ninja Turtles arcade games. And there is a lot of stuff that is basically just kind of. I'll be honest, they got me, okay? Like, there oh, are yeah. several moments playing this game mm. where I was just like, oh, they got me. So I, this is the story mode. Um, look look, at, how, look at how cute the little portraits in the top right are. Yeah, they're, so they, cute. they're adorable. Yeah, um, that's a great look. I look like a fox. You kind of do look like a little fox. Yes, I look yeah. like a, a kind of like a You're Jason. You're very sick. Yeah. I don't look like a, J- a scary Jason. <laughs> you look like a scary um, Jason. If you, go, if you go all the way down, you'll notice there's there's no Staten Island, which is the, the way it should be. The way wow. They should be. Damn. Yeah, they, they blew up Staten Island. All the cops live there. Um, Wait, is this a car? This why is the are turtle we van. On the train tracks? This is the turtle van. I don't know why we're driving on the train tracks, but what the fuck? Uh, so this wow. is the story mode. Um, I finished the story. It's uh, I'd say about two hours long on a uh, normal mode. Yeah, and, for uh, a pro gamer like you, you can yeah get for a pro it. gamer. So let's just jump into the first level, and uh, it's up to six player co-op. There's four of us right now. And, um, yeah, I'm not yeah. actually playing. I'm just I'm here to kind of observe and report. Yeah, make sure everything's above board. Mm-hmm. So it yeah. has drop in and drop out um, multiplayer, which is cool. Jaw breaking news. Yeah, these uh, little title cards are throwbacks to the old beat 'em ups. Oh, so is this an original game or are these like redone yes. levels of like the old games? No, this is an oh, original yeah. game. Blah, 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 blah. It's an original mm-hmm. game. Um, I can't talk with that mask on so well. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, it's this is an original game with uh, homages to uh, the original beat em ups. So there were a lot of those. They were on the NES, the Super Nintendo, arcade. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can tell it kind of gets real silly with a lot of people. <laughs> And uh, it has a lot of, if you played Streets of Rage uh, 4, you'll recognize like a lot of the dynamics here. Like enemies don't fly off the edge of the screen, they bounce, so you can right. juggle them. Ooh. And if anything, the juggling is a little more out of control here than it was in Streets of Rage 4. Uh-huh, yeah. If it, you, can, you can kind of You can basically that. infinite juggle people in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in real life. Yeah, if you're good enough. Yeah. Oh shit, there's a man behind, ow. You just need a guy who will like constantly bring you water and food, and you can just keep juggling forever. It's true. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a beat 'em up. You've got your, you know, your basic combo attacks. You, you can run, you can jump, you can oh, do a super. Um, supers here 
don't follow the old beat em up formula where they take up part of your health. Uh, instead, you have a super bar that you build up by doing damage, and then you can hey, unleash yo. a super. Whoa! Yeah, right on cue. Uh, you can also taunt to uh, get yourself a super bar. What button okay. is taunt? That oh. is R1 or the R1 right or, or R, RB on the Xbox. Um, Ooh, that's a good taunt. Donatello's, Donatello's is really nice. He, he just plays a game. Pulls out a Game quick. Boy. Yeah, it's great. Ooh. Does that only work if enemies are on screen? Uh, nope. That's the oh, weird thing. Uh, so, well, you might see when we get to the boss, uh, John Diego and I were playing the game earlier this week, and uh, in multiplayer, a viable tactic for boss is someone just draw fire while the other people just taunt to get their supers up. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's a little cheap, but it's still It fun. is a little cheap. Uh, we're playing this game on normal, and I would say that if you have played a beat em up before, yeah, you're, it is you're quite gonna easy. Bump that up, yeah. Yeah, there is also an arcade mode, which is um, the story mode is kind of based on like the, the Scott computer. Pilgrim like map sort of system. We found burn, so that's great. Um, there's hidden guys like that in every level that you can find, oh. which is okay. kind of cool. Does that um, get you something? Yeah, you yeah. get. So you're basically you're leveling up these characters. Um, it's not as complex as something like a Scott Pilgrim where you're like buying items and stuff. Basically, right. you just get experience and level up as you uh, uh, beat levels and complete challenges. And uh, you get access to like new super moves and like more hit points and that kind of thing. Now, is that why um, Splinter wasn't as strong as Casey Jones at the beginning? No. So Casey Jones is actually an unlockable character. The other six characters start off unlocked. So this game is up to six people simultaneous. Um, on PC, I think it, you can do a mix of local and online. And on consoles, it's uh, you have to be one or the other. OK. But um, Casey Jones is unlockable and is seems to just be straight up better than everyone else. Uh, also, he has some cool things he can do where, like, uh, he gets little cute hats when he pulls out, like you can see right here. That's really good. Like, or like I've seen the golf hat. He gets a yeah, little the baseball, baseball hat. Uh, is there actually like any customization for like the characters' visuals, like skins and stuff? There doesn't seem to be, unfortunately. Okay. Um, wait, the, that would be um, very cool. Um, oh, maybe in the future. You know, maybe in maybe the future, Donatello we'll gets his weird bathrobe outfit from the comics. <laughs> oh my god! Get those just horrifying Michael Bay ones where they're all like weird hunched <laughs> over. Oh, yes. Yes. Like they're hyper realistic, but the rest of the game's still like this. <laughs> yes. They oh, hire really. the guy who draws those like horrible hyper realistic yeah. Pokemon. So it's just telling me to do a super attack right now because I'm the host and this is the first level. So I think it just does that automatically. It doesn't show that most of the okay. rest of the time. Okay. Um, I have a question. Yeah. yeah. What's that? As a person with young child eyes, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. having a pretty hard time telling what's out happening. where my guy is. <laughs> yeah. So that is How did kind of the thing. How become better at that? John, you want to um, take that? I mean, I feel like... Um, you just don't. You just kind of embrace oh, the cool. chaos of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, just I am, I'm not really track. Like a few minutes ago, I was like, oh, wow, I'm at the right side of the screen wreaking havoc. And then my eyes adjusted. I'm like, nope, I'm on the left <laughs> side and I'm getting my ass kicked. So it's like I sometimes lose track. And especially when there are four players. And I can't imagine what this is like with six. Six. Um, yeah. yeah. I think this game just kind of embraces the chaos of it yeah. and yeah. just lets you go nuts. And They're not going for like a Streets of Rage 4. Where it it's doesn't like, no. feel as technical Balance. as a Streets of Rage 4 or as methodical. No. Um, but it's still really fun. Yeah. Uh, so like, I would say, yeah, if you're expecting that, you might be a little let down. Um, this is just full on, like, just chaos. This is just chaos mode shit. Yeah. And here's Bebop. Oh, it's the lizard. Look at that He's guy. He's got the classic did chucks you, on. I'm sorry, did you did say you the lizard? Did you call him a lizard? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're the lizard who does not leave. He's the pig, and he will not leave us alone. Who's the lizard, though? The lizard is Roxy. Leatherhead. No. Oh. I was uh, thinking of the girl. The girl. There's like a girl turtle who's actually a lizard. So I don't... So there are a lot of characters in this game. I'm pretty sure it only features characters that were in the 80s cartoon. Okay. Yeah, so it's like if a, you're expecting yeah. to see someone from the comics or from or the movies the or series. anything like that, 
you're not going so there to. there are no Power Rangers in this one, is that There's what you're no saying? There's no Vanilla Ice. No Power Rangers, no, no Joker Vanilla Shredder. Ice. No Kevin. Um, Raekwon the Chef. No Kevin um, Nash in a Super Shredder outfit. That's true. <laughs> What's the point then? What's the point? Yeah. So you can see there I leveled up um, and I have more hit points. Sorry. So. I, I do have to take umbrage with them writing a extra HP point, extra health point point. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like EMP pulse. Uh-huh. Well, that's how English used to work in the 80s. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Famously, Nikki, you were born in the 80s. So you know all about that. <laughs> and there's Rocksteady. He stole Krang's head and is running away. You get these neat little... I wouldn't say cutscenes, but little like interstitial images that are pretty cute. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that Krang or because like Krang is the little guy? Krang's Does the his guy. Robot not they have a they name? called the robot Krang as well. Oh, um, okay. That's like Frankenstein. It, Frankenstein's monster yeah. situation. Right. So Krang is a state of mind because he's a the head. I get it. So you can hit X and go into the turtle layer, um, oh, and yeah. then that'll just basically show you. You don't walk around in it or anything. It just kind of shows you like your achievements and stats and stuff like that. But we can jump into a later stage. Let's jump into a um, uh, moving state. Let's try Turtles Ooh. Over, Mutants Over Broadway, I should say. Yeah, this is good. Episode three? Broadway. Yeah, this is level three. Oh, wait, hold on. I think this is on. one of the uh, hoverboard levels. It is. Yeah. I've just realized something. What's, What's that? that? Mm. Are the are these lads? Did they also drink the same juice at the they turtles? They did. Train? They did. They did. Oh. Yeah. But I think they're they were all guys. Uh, Bebop and Rocksteady were guys Ooh. who drank the juice oh. and then got turned into animals instead of animals who became oh, people. Turned into dudes. Yeah, I think traditionally it's like the good guys are always animals. Whoa, that turn what was into that? Dudes. We just did some kind of. I didn't, I'm discovering new moves still. I think I just threw Donatello oh. at. Uh, oh, you can do like yeah, group moves and stuff like, like that. I don't, I don't know how to do that though. Well, there there is something also cool. Like if you're playing with uh, other people, and let's say uh, your your teammate is low on health, you can go up to them with R1 or uh, or is it L1? Shit. No, I it's, can't uh, it's all one here. There L1. you go. You, basically, oh. you give them a high five, which like sacrifices two of your hit points to give them two of them. That's kind of cool. like in, uh, in Kirby oh. games where he does the little kiss. A little kiss. Yeah. A full mouth kiss. Except they couldn't uh-huh. have the turtles kiss. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, they're brothers. They, so you like, can if you're on. not a coward. Oh, I suppose they're brothers. <laughs> 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 I guess. Um, that's <laughs> actually that seems like Ow. it'd be really good if you were like playing with younger kids. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah, you're or, right. <laughs> yeah, younger showing children like kissing. Nicholas. No. Um, <laughs> you're going to see a lot of oh, visual fuck. references here. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's some really good animations in this game, too. Like, there's some really good When ones, you get yeah. flattened, it's really good. There's one where uh, later on there's a robot that swings you around, and it just kind of shows the character's head at the end of like a, a tornado getting swung around. That's really good. There, early, in the last stage, you threw a couple oh. of people at the oh, camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's from the old beat em ups. You can throw people into the camera. And I will say, uh, people might remember Turtles in Time, where there's a boss fight Oops. where you had to throw people into the camera. There might be something like that in this. Ooh. I like that April O'Neil like attacks with a microphone a and like Just yeah. reckless cameras. use of, of station oh, equipment. Also, the, yeah, the resurrection. Uh, so if someone goes down, you can bring them back up so they don't lose a life. And you do that by holding a piece of pizza <laughs> under their nose uh-huh. yeah. until they I, wake up. I died intentionally so you can show Yeah, that, that was Oh, great. yeah, thanks for that. I really appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> I'm just like, really yeah, good that's, at these. That's here on the timesheet. You got it perfectly. Yeah. Like, that's... <laughs> Intentional yeah, thanks death. for following the script. This yeah, very strange. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you can see your lines, uh, please. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, so you guys are fighting the ninjas on the motorcycles. <laughs> the the foot clan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who in this game are robots? Uh, so that it's okay Wait, that you're just kind of killing thousands of them. Weren't they like made of shadow or something in one of? Or they, I'm thinking of Dark. They've been a lot of different things, I think. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> So Is it K- good? Casey yeah, this, has that, some like, of these songs, every uh, all the moving stages have vocals uh, on their tracks. Oh. And there is that one track late in the game um, with... Uh, Raekwon the Chef and Killa. Ghostface Killa. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. I didn't know that they were actually in the game. I just kind of assumed that they were only going to show up in like, marketing material. Is Mike Patton in this too? Uh, I am not sure. 
Because he did the like. They did get a lot yeah. of the original voices back. Maybe all of them. All the turtles have their original voices. So Raphael is oh. Rob Paulson. Um, and Donatello, Leo, all those guys are their original yeah. voices. From ori- By original voices, you mean from the 80s cartoon? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Not the people who did... Well, I guess I don't know if they're the same people who did the, movie, the live-action movie voices. So I, I am 100% sure that Casey Jones is not voiced by 90s Canadian heartthrob Elias Cotillas in this game. Boo. Oh. Um, so that's kind of a sure thing, but... Okay. Have y'all checked out any of the like behind-the-scenes videos on the like dot emu YouTube by chance? No, I haven't. No, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. Like they talked about how they originally pitched this, I guess to whoever has the rights at like Nickelodeon. 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 Yeah, Nickelodeon. And then they were like, oh, we already have someone else who just pitched a TMNT game. Why don't we just put y'all in touch? Mm. And then it was like, hey, let's just let's collaborate on this. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Also, Dot Emu kind of like holding it down lately, like doing some really cool stuff between this and Streets of Rage. I leveled up. Please clap. <laughs> Great work. <laughs> Great work. So, Thank yeah. You. Um, so, in the story mode, you level up characters and uh, you can pick le- any, you know, you can go back to levels and stuff. The arcade mode is much more of a traditional experience where you're sort of just running through the whole thing in one sitting. If you quit midway through, you have to start over. Yeah, um, you have fewer lives. It's it, that's sort of really the the, t- the hard mode I would say of the game. Um, but do we want to jump ahead and get real silly with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do get it. Silly. Um, how old is Shredder? Old. Uh, 50s, old. 60s. Yeah, but he's so jacked. Well, I mean, there are some jacked are... old guys. As yeah. It turns yeah. Out. You watch wrestling, Nikki? Oh, that's true. So. Uh, <laughs> this oh, maybe constitutes spoilers. I don't know. Wait, is this the uh, Terradrome or whatever? Yeah, this is Dimension X. Um, I'm not going to show like the last few levels of the game, but uh, you know, you do you do go to Dimension X. So, is there a sewer level? Of course, there's a sewer level, yeah. and we're going to the sewer <laughs> level. <laughs> Ooh, King, King of the, the Spill, spill. Rat King. I think that's King it. Spill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, rat the Rat King. King. Yeah. Wait, you got mousers in here? Oh, oh you got yeah. mousers. Oh, you got mousers. There, oh, Nikki, gross. you've seen some rats. Whoa! Isn't that weird? <laughs> I didn't like they that. They just carried this guy. Oh, I forgot to click it. They just took Krang away. Yeah, they took Krang, is Krang away. okay? I mean, that is just his head. That's a robot yeah. head. It's not Krang. That's not even a him. Yeah. Wow, they're already dead. You guys can let them Oh, yeah. They got to know. They got to learn. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. They're going to learn gotta today. They're going to learn. I do appreciate uh, that, like, and this is maybe just me not, like, playing a lot of modern beat em ups, so maybe this is very common, but, like, it seems to show that they have been defeated by, like, making them, yeah. like, yes. turn gray. Yeah. They, they don't nice. have life bars. So, no enemies in this game except bosses have life bars. Um, they just instead, yeah, they, they will change color when they're defeated. So kind of a nice clean visual indicator. Yeah, yeah I, I like, like that, that a lot. Yeah. I wanted to I wanna bring one of these guys with us to the next screen. <laughs> to keep one guy alive. I'll just stand <laughs> over you? here and I'll keep this guy up in the air. Like this <laughs> and is then we'll kind of bring him with us to the right. Re- oh, damn boo. it. <laughs> So, yeah, there's like a bunch of, I haven't even really mastered like all the moves and stuff. Like I was saying, you know, it's pretty simple compared to a Streets of Rage. There's still a lot of stuff. It's still like much more complex than like the original beat-em-ups. Oh, sure. You know, there's like sidestep moves. (laughs) Hey, Um, Nikki. um, Hey, Nikki. (laughs) You you don't want to stand in front of the train. train. (laughs) Mind the gap, you know? We failed a challenge. I'm really sorry. Like... Nikki, I, lo- I know you miss uh, the uh, I know you miss House of Cards on Netflix, but <laughs> uh, so these little robots were in the original games. They shoot out little wires. And, uh, ah, here stars. are the mousers. I, I don't know why. I'm not even a huge TMNT fan, but I've just always liked the design of the they're mousers. They're such like, a great a design. Yeah, they're, they're really good. You're supposed to be mice. I uh, know they're supposed to catch mice. Oh, because I was gonna say they look like dogs. They look like the Shriekers from Tremors 2 Shriekers, they actually, They kind of do. Maybe that's so, why I like them. Uh, you might notice there's no weapons you can pick up or anything in this game because everyone already has their own weapons. So I was um, literally going to ask that next. It's the you're next not thing gonna, on my script here. Yeah, you're not going to pick up spoon. shurikens or baseball bats or anything. I mean, I already have a baseball bat. Um, but... Uh, there are like items that you can kick into enemies. Uh, there are kind of like traps you can activate. So oh, okay. there's environmental interaction stuff. There's just no actual weapons. How does Splinter feel about fighting these rats? Uh, really good. Okay. They're di- they look different from me, so 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> we I haven't forgot. been fighting we the rats so far. The They've just oh, run away. Well, yeah, we oh, found, we found Genghis. Who is this? He's That's one Genghis. of the punk's frogs. It's what? a battle toad, Nikki. <laughs> it's a battle toad. No, is in the TMNT, there are, uh, there are four frogs who are mutants who um, kind of tend to get, like, tend to get more uh, support and stuff from, like, the public for some reason. Oh. Everyone loves the punk frogs and kind of hates the Ninja Turtles. They're wow. sort of a poochie. Yes. Are they gay? Uh, I believe, again, <laughs> they are all brothers. So <laughs> well, they can still be gay, not I mean, with each other. I suppose that's true. I don't know if the you cartoon ever explored brothers. that question. <laughs> yeah, I just thought maybe the news hey. was turning the frogs gay. <laughs> oh sure, yeah. Oh, that is a disgusting a kind of, bug found. So you did find a disgusting bug. That's gonna be worth a lot of points. Um, That'll happen too. Yeah, basically, you you find different items that characters are looking for, and uh, oh. they they give you some points for it. And those points again are for leveling up uh, your characters. Does that happen automatically, or do you like? Yeah, it does, it happens yeah. automatically. Okay. There's no builds or anything like that. It's okay. Automatic. I see. Oh, who's this guy? Who's oh, this? Rat King. It's Rat King. That's the Rat this King. This is the Rat King. I am the Rat King. See? Oh, <laughs> <He's still laughs> are we sure? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. No, I that see. is the Rat King for sure. That is, okay. That's the man. Oh, I didn't know Stain from My Hero Academia was here. God. Okay, so yeah, oh, his Christ. boss fight. Oh, shit. <laughs> you have All to these avoid rats. these rats. The yes. forgotten Domino's Pizza slogan. <laughs> avoid these rats. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> So there are some really good animations in this game. Like the pixel art is just, just fantastic. Delicious. You see, oh, like, oh, oh, no. his head there, and he's getting oh, spun around. Incredible. Like the best animations are when you're getting hit by stuff. Yeah. Um, that was another intentional move. Yeah. Because yeah. you wanted to show. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I knew I needed to be exactly that distance away to to proc that throw. So. This is like a, okay, like this fight though I like because it's like mixes it up a little bit by having it so you have to do like some light platforming kind right, of dodging yeah. between the beat 'em up stuff. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, there's actually a lot kick. of. Uh... <laughs> April's face. <laughs> April's face. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Uh, it almost has, it feels a little bit like some old like uh, Capcom uh, games where like the characters would just get really silly looking. Yeah. Um, like a Final Fight or a Darkstalkers or something. Oh yeah, Darkstalkers is a great example, yeah. Really make you think some of these animations, how much rat look like dog mm. or, or fox. I mean, if you think about it, most animals are basically their skeletal structure of a human is basically the same as like a cat's. If you like stand up on all fours, if your legs, if your foot was really long, you'd basically have a, a cat leg. I always say that. Yeah. So that's the Rat King. That's a wrap on the Rat King. That's a wrap um, on the Rat King. That thing in the background, uh, I believe it was in this show and it definitely was a toy that uh, I believe uh, I owned. He's back. He's why back. didn't we? Why are we? Oh my god. We're too busy celebrating. Yeah. Celebrating. We were too busy celebrating. <laughs> Show and I do love here that April is sort of doing the uh the soy uh the soy jack kind of uh, <laughs> <laughs> yelling at the camera and pointing in the background. Tur turtle van driver suck me off. Um, <laughs> um yeah, so uh, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, the fact that you can play with up to six people at once is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, that's I don't like, you don't see that a lot these days. Yeah, like, yeah. It's I assume um, this game has couch co-op. It kind does. Too? Yeah, like I was mm -hmm. saying earlier, um, on consoles it's either couch co-op or online. But if you're on PC, you can do hybrid. Like you can have Ooh. a few people using local controllers and. Uh, you know, a few people uh, online. Okay, so I was going to ask next, what are these special requests? But that's just where you come in and like give them the stuff that you found in other areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah. I've I found something called Punk Frogs New York City Retreat. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, Do I go in? Well, uh, yeah, that's where you go to show or to uh, to give the uh, the frogs their bugs. 
they're disgusting yeah. bugs. Oh. So progress oh, does seem to, yeah, the way progress seems to work too in this game is um, if, uh, I, I think, you know, even if you're connecting to a host, your progress is still going to accumulate. Um, mm -hmm. So any, any like weird, disgusting bugs or whatever that you find in levels, uh, that's going to unlock in your game too. Um, Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you want to do one more level that. or? Yeah, show, show one more level. If it goes long, we can, we can dip out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But these seem pretty bite-sized so far, honestly. They're fairly quick. This is at the Natural History Museum, which I really like. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I love Night at the Museum. There is a lot of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of so deep cuts in this game. I'll say that, too. So if you are a Ninja Turtles fan, or if you're someone who hasn't thought about the Ninja Turtles in 20 years, maybe, uh, like me, but was really into them in the 90s, mm. there's going to be a lot of... Awoken memory <laughs> when you play this. That's cool. I would love it if they like did like because a lot of those new so shows I think are like actually really well regarded. Like that the not the most recent one. I don't know. I, I've been I don't know anything about that one, but the one from like a couple years back. I think on Nickelodeon people really liked. I would it would be kind of cool if they did some DLC or something that like just you know Super Mario Maker style brought in different eras. Yeah, I think it, there's a lot of stuff they could do with this game, and I'm curious how much they're going to be able to do based on um, licensing issues. But, oh. uh, you know, something like the Streets of Rage uh, endless mode would be amazing. Yeah. Because oh, that, be that gave that game that'd be so, cool. so much extra life. Yeah, yeah. Totally, um, totally. You know, adding skins to characters would be really cool because these characters have been around so long. There's so many different versions of them. Right. <laughs> you get, like, underwater Donatello. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I actually just activated the most leveled up special move, uh, which I've I not seen until this moment. So is if that you how level you went gold Frieza, if you yeah. Uh, so if you level up to level eight, which is I think the maximum, um, and you fill up three of your power bars, you basically just become invincible and strong for a yeah. Little if you while. eat three power bars, you turn into a super saiyan. Uh -huh. kind of, that's how it works in real life too. Yeah, that's how it mm -hmm. works. Uh, I think you can get up to level 10 with each oh, character. Oh, okay, all right, wow. But I think at that point, it's just giving you bonus health oh, Bonus stuff, health, so. okay, gotcha. Huh. Why do the dinosaurs have guns? Uh, <laughs> because they're from an alternate universe, I Well, think? Nikki, there was a TV series called Extreme Dinosaurs. It was a spinoff of Street Sharks, and in it, the dinosaurs were from the past. They took time traveled into the future. Uh, okay, hold on. I got a ghoul doc I can share with you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this level is exactly like the end of Modern Warfare 2. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> huh? At the end of Modern Warfare 2, there's a museum level and you run around and then you press a button and then all of the bad guys that are in the museum come to life and then you have to fight them. And some triceratopses with guns come out. Wait, what? Does that really... All the bad yeah. guys in the museum come to life at yeah. the end of Modern uh -huh. Warfare 2? And it's, a, it's like a horde mode. Oh, it's like the it's like a it's like a fake funny joke. It's not part of the story. No. It's like it's like the the Mile High Club thing. Okay, no, oh, yeah. you did have me convinced yeah. briefly that this was like a somehow a narrative thing. Yeah, I, I also I, I also No, it's not this. like I mean it's got all the characters from the story mode and you're but the guy sure. from this. But there's mode, it's not it's like not. the Russians have infiltrated no. the Nazi history museum and they're uh, posing as exhibits. Uh, right. No, no, no. That's pretty good. I will say, like, hey. the crunchiness of this game is very good. Mm. Um, Thanks. Like, hey, the Splinter, screen shake. can you quit dying? Who's Dask? Dask is one of the neutrinos. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? He's one of the neutrinos. He's from Dimension X, and he oh. loves to drive around in his cool car. Um, I'm and Dask. Pizza, and, uh, yeah. Basically an honorary turtle at that point. Pretty You're much. Just standing there. Help out. Yeah, do something. Yeah, I'm actually kind of like curious. Like they've got all these character models in here, but they're not playable yet. I assume. No, and those characters don't like. They're there to be unlockable, like to be think people you can find and stuff. Um, they don't like help you fight or anything. So you right. know, if they added them as characters, they would have to oh. do animations and everything for them. Yeah. Um, Still, like maybe maybe those are like kind of a preview you. of like things. If they, they could. let you play as the neutrinos, I would lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Dot Emu in tribute? <laughs> Give the people the neutrinos. I'm sorry. I love this guy's little fucking turkey leg things mm -hmm. on his horns. It's so he doesn't hurt himself on them. Oh, that's good. That's Captain Zorax. 
Captain Zorax. Okay. Who else we got uh, among the playable characters? It's mostly the, is it just these two and then the turtles? Uh, well, it's so yeah. You you start with April Strider and the turtles, and you can unlock Casey Jones by beating the story mode once. Okay, he's the only unlockable. Uh, so far, yes. Still seems like this this <sighs> takes me back to like playing Castle Crashers all throughout the night at a sleepover. Ooh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This seems like perfect fodder for that. Obviously, probably not a lot of sleepovers happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> probably more than there should be, actually, now that I say that out loud. But still, it's it's maybe not you know, like quite the thing. But, you know, you could get a discard cord, disc, discord call Actually, going. There you go. I definitely there thought he is. just said my serotonin. <laughs> <laughs> also, April does a little mic drop, yeah, and Donatello turns drop. his bow staff into a pogo stick. <laughs> Slitter <laughs> won the best, most award, fewest enemies <laughs> defeated. <laughs> <laughs> well, that fits. Oh, like, oh, thank kind you of so a... much. <laughs> for, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's Shredder's Revenge. It is out on uh, June 16th. I believe. Yeah. Should and, be about um, a day after you're watching this, if you're watching this one. Yeah, if you're watching this day out, it comes out tomorrow. And um, yeah, it's a very cool game uh, if you are a Turtles fan. And uh, even if you're not, if, you, if you're if you like hungry for a new beat-em-up, you can play with a lot of people yeah, it's a good online one. too. Yeah. Um, I would say definitely oh. pick it up. Is there matchmaking? Can you can you just join up with I randos? believe there is. Um, I believe you can search for games that are, uh, because you can create open, uh, open groups, but it's all going to be, um, you know, host and, uh, and client stuff. So there's no dedicated servers, but it doesn't seem like the kind of game that would really need those. No, I wouldn't think so. No, I I really need this game to have rollback (laughs) merit. (laughs) Right. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Why do I look like that? (laughs) (laughs) That's that's a great question, Nikki. We can answer that on a future first bite. Have, Thank you all. Have the creators of Ninja Turtles ever seen a rap before? <laughs> We could go ahead and answer that on a future episode. But the, yeah, thank you all. Thank you, John. Thank you, Merritt. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Nikki. And thank you, viewers, for sticking with us. Uh, until next time, turtle power. 